I'm Doug Faraway. This is day five of our coverage on Cable 14. It's the RBC Canadian Open from the Hamilton Golf and Country Club. We're in one of our favorite viewing areas. It's the landing area at 18, which is going to see an awful lot of dramatic shots come Sunday. And a champion will, of course, be crowned sometime around 5 o'clock, 5.30 on Sunday afternoon. Coming down uh, right now, you can see some of the golfers uh, just coming down. They've hit their first shots off of 18, and they're doing... A terrific job. It's Tom Pernice Jr., Ken Duke of Palm City, Florida, and Rio Ishikawa, one of the favorites on the tour. And so check it out this evening. We'll be uh, on at 5.15, 7.15, and 9.15. The first thing we managed to do on our final day of coverage here is catch up with the CEO of the Hamilton Golf and Country, and that's George Pinches this club. It has such a rich history. The membership now three times in a decade has said yes to the RCGA and Golf Canada to come here. Don't know when it's going to come back, maybe four, five, six years down the road. But this facility has been upgraded. Uh, uh, 2007 was the renovation. Yeah. Uh, uh, but this club has such a rich history. Talk about it. Talk about the membership. And then we'll talk about your duties around here because this is a massive undertaking. Well, uh, first of all, let's talk about the club. The club was founded in 1894 and was a founding member of the RCGA and this is our third location and we've been on this site since 1914. Uh, the club had the good fortune to pick this piece of property. The topography is spectacular. Mm -hmm. It's got a water feature. Ancaster Creek runs through it. Um, it wasn't as well treated at that time. It was a farm. Uh, the trees came after. Uh, so the, the club is blessed by a wonderful site. The club's got great members who, who care for the game of golf and love the go game of golf and support both amateur and professional golf in this country. Um, the next other thing that was done that was purely brilliant was to hire uh, Harry S. Colt to be the course designer and the course architect here at Ancaster. Um, he's the world's renowned course architect. He was the, uh, the leader, many of the great architects of the day. To, uh, were tutored by him. Um, he did work only other one course in uh, Canada at Toronto Golf. He did a number of courses in North America. He did courses all over the world. He did work at Pine Valley. He did work at uh, uh, St. Andrews. So that was the other wonderful decision somebody made back then. That's resulted in us having a wonderful course. We're in a great area in Ancaster. We have supportive members. And we have the infrastructure. Um, there's a number of great courses all across this country who would love to host the Open. And inside the ropes, they're totally up to it. But you need so much space. Um, I say it's like the circus comes to town. You've seen it. There's trailers and tents and all these other kinds of things set up around the area. You need space. And you need space within the clubhouse, as we have, if you're going to entertain all the various corporate uh, people. Now, let's talk about this trophy that you brought out. This, this is an ancient... Now, have you had any beverage out of this trophy? That, that's a good question as well. Well, I may have a beverage, but it, it won't be till Sunday when the CBS News comes on and the whole thing's over. But regardless, uh, we have a wonderful situation here where we have an archivist and we have our historian. And they've carefully cataloged and maintained all of the wonderful artifacts. We have the second best collection here at the club to the RCJ at Golf Canada House. So we're very proud of that. We have a number of trophies, big and small, that date back eons. This is from 1909, and it's just a sample of a small silver trophy that uh, we hold dear, and they're, and they're stored on site. Well, you've done a great job, and I thank you for this. Oh, well, thank you, and, and here's to uh, Cable 14. Well, we are at 17 and 18 watching the landing zones. This is another great spot to catch uh, the play here at the RBC Canadian Open. It's the BMW 13th hole. Just park your keister in the stands and enjoy it for a little while. It is a great spot to view this 236 yard par three.
Well, as you can see from my brow, it's been kind of a warm day here for day five of our Cable 14 coverage, day two of the RBC Canadian Open at the Hamilton Golf and Country Club. We're just beside the first tee, so you can see the humanity already is building for the weekend. Remember, on the weekend, you buy an adult ticket, anybody with you who's 17 and under gets in for free. They want to expand golf in this country, and that's one way of doing it, and I can tell you. I, t I talk talked about mopping my brow, etc. Sunday is going to be an absolutely gorgeous day. It's also going to be a little warm, so stay hydrated. Bring water and then buy some water out here. It's going to a great Hamilton community cause, child abuse awareness. So those are things you have to worry about on the weekend. Umbrella, okay? Don't take pictures. No photography on the weekend. You can bring your cell phone. Put it on mute, please. You can use your cell phone, but you cannot take pictures with your BlackBerry or your Android. So some of the tips coming up this weekend. It's just going to be a great event here in Hamilton. Please come out and enjoy yourself, but also take care of yourself. Uh, we are going to be on the air at 5.15, 7.15 and 9.15 this evening, and we're going to put together a complete package of all the stuff we did this week, and that will air on Cable 14 at 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. One hour of Canadian Open coverage. Look, we're at the Hamilton Golf and Country Club. It's a great event. It's the RBC Canadian Open. Come on out and enjoy. For Mike, James, and yours truly, Doug Faraway, thanks for watching.